Ooh. Okay, good morning guys. Hope you're well. I certainly am. The resort is empty. Look at it. That's because it's not even open yet. There's some peace bashes going around, getting it open, but it's not going to be open for a couple more weeks yet. But we had some fresh snow last night. I couldn't wait to get at it. So I've just hiked all the way up here. But a little bit knackered. I just had a quick warm up run. This is only my second run of the season, but I thought I'd try and incorporate it with a really fun video where we show you guys how to get face shots in the powder. So when you're doing those powder, those heel side turns, and you really kick that back leg out, spray some snow up and ride through it. Okay, I'm going to jump on in, have a bit of a ride myself, hopefully show you guys how it's done, then we'll stop halfway down and I'll explain it a little bit more. Alrighty. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo, it's a bit crusty underneath. Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! Oh, wow, give that a little wipe down. Okay. So, snow's not super light, it's a little bit heavy. So I was trying to having, I was having to work a little bit there to try and get that snow to really come up over my head. Okay, so that bit was quite steep, as you can see behind me. So I was able to stay in the powder snow all the time. But if we look around here, they're just piecing the slope now. And what this is, is your perfect kind of place for practicing this. What I can do, I can jump onto the piece, gather a little bit of speed, and we're gonna jump off the side, carry a little bit of that speed into the powder, and then I can try and do this heel side turn to make the face shot. Now, a really common mistake I see is people, they do this, they get in the powder, and they just turn the board 90 degrees. They just turn it sideways, a bit like they're doing a speed check in the park. Okay, so that's not really good. I mean, number one, it just looks a bit pants, but also it's actually much more difficult to do and you're much more likely to fall over. The great thing about the snowboard is, you know, if you're riding it nose through to tail, riding its length, you've got about, you know, 150 centimeters to 160 centimeters of surface area underneath you. As soon as you turn that board sideways, you lose it. You drop it down to about 25 centimeters. That board's gonna sink, it's gonna catch in the snow. You're gonna fall over forwards onto your face. So the way I do it, the way I think is, is the best to do it, you're gonna come into the powder. So I'm a little bit on my toe edge. I want my knees to be quite bent. Then as I rock onto my heel side, I'm essentially doing a heel side turn. But rather than just kind of doing a mellow heel side turn, letting the ball come round, I'm gonna really accelerate all the movements, be really dynamic with it. So as I rock round onto my heel edge, as I get to the end part of the turn, this is where I'm gonna really speed it up. I'm gonna start extending out through my back leg, really pushing that down into the snow. This is what's gonna make the snow really shoot up. It's gonna create a bit of a platform underneath my board, which is then gonna bounce me off into the next turn. So that's where I kind of change my edge, my edges, the board kind of unweightens underneath my feet, and I'm gonna come back round onto my toe side. At which point I'll probably jump back onto the piece, get a bit more speed, and go for the next one. Okay, so just look around, the piece bash is coming down, so I'm gonna to have to hurry, I wanna get out of his way, see if we can get this done before he gets down here. Okay, let's do this. All right, picking up loads of speed on the piece now. <laughs> into the snow. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, let's go again. Back on the piece, get a bit more speed. Into the snow. Woo! Oh yeah, that tastes good. All right, let's see if we can get another one. It's flattening out a little bit. Woo! Oh, whoa. All right. Wipe you down. Let's see if we've got one more in us. Okay. Woo! Oh my god, that's fun. That is good fun. Okay. Wow. Alright guys, so give that a go next time you've got a powder day. You know, perfect location there. Jump off the side of the piece into the deep snow. Good boy. Come on. Okay guys, thanks for watching. 
I'm off to walk the dog now. Can't wait for those lifts to open in a few weeks. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know the drill. Please hit that like and that subscribe button. There's gonna be heaps more videos like this coming throughout the season. And you know, if you're interested in having a snowboard lesson with myself, I work out here in Alpe d'Huez in France. And you can find all the details of how to go about that in the link in the description down below. All right, cheers guys, bye.